the last session we studied how to convert decimal to binary but when we have to read data from small devices like smart home devices or small printers we get data in binary form so to understand and use this data we need to convert them into decimal well there are many practical use cases to convert binary into decimal and today we will study how to convert binary to decimal hello everyone welcome to newtom's python practice series and in this session we will study how to convert binary number to a decimal number first we will understand the concept of conversion then we will code the program in python using two different method so let's start with the concept 1010 or 101 are binary numbers when you write 1001 it's 9 in decimal but how the formula is pretty simple if you look at 1001 it has four digits hence we will multiply the last digit by 2 to the power 0 then we will multiply the second last digit by 2 to the power 1 and so on for all the digit thus increasing the exponential by 1 every time as we move to the left side then we will sum all of them the output of the first expression is 1 for the second expression it's 0 for the third is again 0 and then 8 if you sum all of them it's nothing but 9 consider another example consider a binary number 1100 let's apply the same formula well if you add all the output will be 12 if you look at this binary number that is 11001101 here the number of digits are 7 so the first expression will be 1 multiplied by 2 to the power 0 same till the end just increasing the exponential factor and then we will sum them all well the answer is 101 so this is the general formula for converting binary to decimal since our formula is ready it's time to do the actual coding we will write binary to decimal program using two different method the first is using while loop more of a traditional method and then we will write the same program using the inbuilt function provided by python so let's get started open your editor first accept the input in the variable bn using the input function then convert the bn into an integer using the int function declare two variables dec and i with the initial value as 0 dec is for storing the final decimal number and i as the counter now write a while loop with condition bn greater than 0 don't worry we will explain this condition after completing the loop then write r equal to bn mod 10 this will give the last digit of the binary number then write exp equal to r into 2 star star i here we are multiplying the last digit with 2 to the power 0 and star star is the exponential operator then write dc equal to dc plus exp this line will ensure that the result of each expression is added to the dc variable now we will use the floor operator to get the quotient in the variable bn like this then increment the counter i with 1 after the loop print the variable dec nicely like this run the program and enter the input as 1001 well we got the output 9 so now we are sure that our program is working but how does this loop or the complete logic works let's understand this with the iteration 
when you entered 1001 it was stored in the bn variable and then converted into an integer now your loop starts and the value of bn that is 1001 is definitely greater than 0 hence the control goes inside the loop here it gets the remainder 1 in the variable r in our case it's 1 then the calculation is done that is 1 into 2 raised to 0 well the output is 1 and it is stored in the exp variable in the next line the exp value is added to the decimal variable then we use the floor operator which will give us the quotient in the variable bn that is 100 then we increment the counter variable i hope you understood this first iteration listen this iteration is very very important they help us to actually understand the core logic now let's move to the second iteration in the second iteration value of i is 1 and the value of bn is 100 hence in this line we will get the remainder as 0 so the expression value will be 0 since we have multiplication with 0 and the dec value will remain as 1 hope you are still holding on it's time for the third iteration now we will move to the third iteration here we will have i as 2 and bn as 10 again we will have r as 0 and hence the expression will give output 0 and our dc will be same that is 1 in the next line bn will become 1 and i will become 3 well this completes the third iteration please bear one more iteration with me it's time for the final iteration now we will get the value of r as 1 and the output of this expression will be 8 because 2 raised to 3 is 8 and our dc value will become 9 in the next line bn will become 0 and i will be incremented to 4 but now our loop will break since the condition is bn should be greater than 0 hope you are still here it was very lengthy i understand but it's very important the most important part about this session was understanding this iteration if you can perform this iteration you can write any program very easily well i have explained this program so that you understand the logic behind binary to decimal conversion but it's python and python has shortcut for almost everything so now i will quickly explain a method to write this program very easily in few lines of code without much coding and this iteration so let's move to method in this method again we will convert binary to decimal but using the inbuilt method of python again accept the input from the user in the variable bn then write dc equal to int and in bracket pass the variable bn then a comma and then 2 here int is a function that converts any value into an integer and 2 is the base of the binary now print the variable dc run the code and enter the input as 1001 well again you got the output 9 rerun the code and enter the input as 11010 well you got the output as 26 listen here both the methods are important as a developer you should know the core logic as well as the shortcut provided by advanced programming languages in our case it's python hope you got some insight into binary to decimal conversion if you want any sort of example to be covered please put that in the comment box it could be an exam question an interview question or something that you like we will create a video for you on that topic and If you don't want to miss any example please subscribe to our channel
and also please like and share many aspiring developer need to learn this and if you want to learn python from scratch you can always enroll in the core python course apart from the course content you will get live support and believe me many people love that part see you in the next practice session thanks for your time